Deputy Prime Minister Michael McCormack has dismissed suggestions he is planning to hand over the reins of the Nationals. Mr McCormack is digging in as questions surround his ability to unite the party. Refuting speculation that he's under pressure to step down as Nationals leader to hand over the top job to new Deputy David Littleproud in an orderly transition. Matt Canavan and Barnaby Joyce and others have looked me in the eye and said uh, that I'm the leader, they will not be challenging. When a country person gives me an assurance, I take them on their word and I'm taking them on their word on that. I've, I've faced, the, uh, I've faced the, uh, the National Party three times in less than two years and each time each and every time they have endorsed me as their leader, I think that's enough. Let's put a rule under it. Mr McCormack is standing firm in his role and playing down suggestions of party room tensions over climate change and energy policy. National Senator Matt Canavan has warned he would be prepared to cross the floor over the issue, calling a net zero emissions target by 2050 fantastical. The Morrison government's currently considering a new long-term emissions reduction strategy ahead of a UN climate summit later this year. Mr McCormack insists the Nationals are united on the issue. We don't want to go down the Labor Greens way and I appreciate that uh, uh, Trent might have gone on a frolic today. Well, good luck to him. It's reliable, affordable energy. I know that's what Angus Taylor is pushing for. I know that, that that's what the Prime Minister is pushing for. Certainly that's, uh, as Nationals, we are as one with this. He appears to have the backing of MP Keith Pitt, whose rubbished suggestions he only sided with Michael McCormack in the leadership spill because he offered him a spot in Cabinet. That's just absolute nonsense. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been in the Parliament. Uh, this is my third term. I've held three junior portfolios. Uh, no one in their right mind. I would think I wouldn't be loyal to the leader. Uh, and, you know, to, to be frank, uh, that's our job now. We need to get on to it. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.